What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So, before I start this video, if you are a rival team fan and are just coming here to hate on the video and say that I'm complaining about the VAR decision in Juve versus Salernitana, you can click out the video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the big problem about VAR in Serie A, and I'm going to be talking about all teams and decisions that have gone against them. Regardless, as you guys know, Juventus versus Salernitana was about two days ago, and we were down 2 0, we went 2 2, and in the last minute, we scored, Milik scored a great header to make it 3 2. Now, I personally, I celebrate that goal and clicked off the match. And I see on Twitter everyone is like robbed, robbed, robbed and I go and I see that Quadrado has a red card, Milik has a red card, Allegri has a red card, Fazio has a red card and the goal has been disallowed for offside. How has this been disallowed? Milik scored it himself off a corner. How the hell is this offside? And then I look at the videos, apparently it was offside because Bonucci's leg was offside. Bonucci didn't touch the ball, the leg was obviously not limiting the vision of the goalkeeper so why the hell was it offside in the first Plate. And then even more stuff came in that Kandreva was even keeping Bonucci offside, so it wasn't even offside in the first place. No player from the Juventus team was offside in that moment. And the most hilarious thing about this is that the day after, the Italian Federation or whatever, I don't even really care who said it, but it's someone from the official Italian, I guess, FA, said that they didn't even have images to see that Kandreva was keeping him on site. Now, this is where I get into the main topic of this video. VAR in Syria, it needs to change right now. Now, in my opinion, if you can't execute VAR, are in the correct way you don't execute it at all if you can't have the right referees and the right images and the right cameras etc to execute var then you shouldn't even use it at all there's been a huge decline in the level of refereeing in syria pretty much since 2006 pretty much since calciopoli the quality of referees has gone down 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 syria so, yeah, used to have the best referees now it has the worst this goes for all teams in syria all teams have been screwed from a wrong decision and it's ridiculous how many times it has happened mistakes happen but var is supposed to remove Remove those mistakes, not add more mistakes. We've been seeing offside goals being called offside for a half a shoulder. We've seen goals being called offside when there was no offside. We see penalties not being checked, even though the penalties should be checked. So why are we using VAR? Why don't we just leave it to the referees? They can do what they want. And if mistakes happen, they happen. We'll say we don't have VAR. VAR right now is just making the game way worse. As I said before, referees also the level of refereeing it is very bad at the moment. Who remembers last season in Milan when they scored against Spezia and the referee didn't hold on advantage. And then Spezia went on to score the game winner. Even this season, just to say that I'm not biased. Milan also have won penalties that haven't been penalties. They've also haven't gotten penalties that should have been penalties. It happens throughout Serie A. Regardless, in my opinion, until the Italian FA finds out how to correctly execute VAR, it should be removed from the sport. I do not care. Why does he work in the Champions League so well, but a can't in Serie A? I'll tell you why. The referees are poor. So train referees better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about this matter. What do you think should change when it comes to VAR and Serie A? If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and more kind of content. We'll see you in the next one.